Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? So, at least one person disagreed with me about the color of freely legs, saying that, well, this is just what white women look like. And then she went on some feminist rant that had nothing to do with my video. But be that as it may, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Freely's disease-causing, nutritionally deficient diet is not causing her any problems at all, like anemia or what have you. Maybe I'm wrong about that specific case. Doubt it. But it's not like I'm breaking new ground here. I mean, this is a well-known fact that, well, if you eat a nutritionally deficient, disease-causing diet that you have to take pharmaceutical synthetic supplements in order not to die while on, I mean, <laughs> something's going to give, guys. Sooner or later, something's going to give, or it's likely to, right? It's just logic. Anyway, it's not like I'm breaking any new ground here, guys. I mean, it is a well-known fact that some vegans go from looking healthy and their skin color is one of the signs of this to looking sickly and pale and gray. A lot of vegans have discovered this themselves. A lot of healthcare practitioners have discovered this about vegans. I'm not breaking any new ground here, right? So back the fuck up off me. I could be wrong about Freely and her disease-causing diet. I could be completely wrong about her. Doubt it. Anyway, I wanted to further elucidate this phenomenon by looking at Unnatural Vegan five years ago or so. Look at all the color in her face. Now look, I understand. She is a pale white woman, probably lives somewhere up north where there's not a lot of sun, stays home all day, yada yada motherfucking yada. Still, compared to the gray wall or the gray shirt she is wearing, there is color in her face. And don't talk to me about makeup. I know she wears it, but not on her ears, does she? And yet... The ears are the same color as the face. In it, I rest my case. Moving right along, five years later. <laughs> Pale as a ghost, in it? Come on now. And yes, once again, I know, I know, the lady wears a lot of makeup, but not on her arms, not on her neck, not on her ears. She's pale as a motherfucking ghost. You think... That has anything to do with her nutritionally deficient, full of synthetic chemicals, soylent induced <laughs> or infused diet. You think so? Anyway, I know, or I don't actually, but maybe perhaps she's taking a blood test and everything is checking out, especially iron, right? It's not like she looks anemic or anything like that. I don't know if that did happen or did not, but first and foremost, you could fake a blood test. Secondly, you think these blood tests are foolproof? They're not, and a lot of people are finding this out. And another thing, it's not like nutritional science is some ancient, tried-and-true field that we know so much about it's not it's very new and there's lots of stuff we don't know about we don't understand we're not even sure we've discovered all the essential nutrients seeing as we're still discovering them it would seem so forget all that forget the blood test could it be perhaps that her blood is full of some kind of synthetic iron that she supplements that her body really can't use but it's full of her blood is full of it could that be it so if you take a blood test, it's going to show, perhaps, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I don't know this stuff, I'm just speculating. Could it be that there's all kinds of synthetic iron in her blood that shows up on the test and everything checks out, but when in reality her body can't use any of this iron, which is why she looks anemic and like Casper. 
Could it be? Perhaps. Thanks for watching.